In an industry fueled by creativity and dreams, the actress Patricia Arquette turned hers into reality. Born in 1968, she grew up in a family deeply rooted in the arts, which sparked her interest in acting at a young age. Arquette's breakthrough role came in the early 90s with the film True Romance, where she showcased her talent and grabbed the attention of audiences and critics alike. She continued to make her mark in the film industry, delivering powerful performances in movies such as Boyhood and Medium, for which she won an Emmy Award. Her work in Boyhood was particularly noteworthy as the film was shot over 12 years, allowing the actress to portray a character's growth and development in a unique and captivating way. Her performance earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 2015. In addition to her work in film, Arquette has also made a name for herself on television. She starred in the critically acclaimed series Medium, where she played a psychic detective, a role that earned her multiple award nominations. Arquette has used her platform to advocate for gender equality and women's rights. In her acceptance speech at the 2015 Academy Awards, she called for wage equality for women in the United States, highlighting the importance of equal pay for equal work. Throughout her career, Patricia Arquette has proven herself to be a talented and dedicated actress, leaving a lasting impact on the film and television industry. Her ability to bring characters to life and her advocacy for important social issues make her a true inspiration. Actress Patricia Arquette has been captivating audiences for decades with her powerful performances. From her breakout role in True Romance to her award-winning performance in Boyhood, she has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Perhaps you first recognize her in the hit TV show Medium, where she played a psychic detective. Or maybe you were moved by her portrayal of a grieving mother in The Force Awakens. No matter when or where you first encountered the actress, it's likely that she left a lasting impression. We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. And get ready to learn even more about the actress, because we have some fun facts coming up that you won't want to miss. From surprising behind-the-scenes stories to emotional moments on set, there's so much to discover about this talented actress. So, what do you believe was the defining moment in the actress's career? Was it a film, a TV show, or something else entirely? Let us know in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Raised in a bohemian family of actors and artists, the actress was exposed to the craft at a young age. Born in 1968 to Louis Arquette, an actor and director, and Brenda Dinot, an acting teacher and therapist, her upbringing was unconventional and steeped in creativity. The actress is the sister of fellow actors Rosanna, Richmond, and David Arquette. The actress's early years were spent moving around the country as her father's work in television and film took the family to various locales. This nomadic lifestyle allowed her to be exposed to different cultures and ways of life, which would later inform her work as an actress. The actress's mother played a significant role in her early exposure to the craft. As an acting teacher, she provided a foundation for the actress's understanding of acting technique and theory. The actress has cited her mother as a key influence and mentor in her path to becoming an actress. In addition to her mother, the actress was inspired by a number of influential figures in the world of film and theater. She has spoken about her admiration for actors like Meryl Streep, Robert De Niro, and Dustin Hoffman, citing their ability to fully embody their characters and bring them to life on screen. The actress also drew inspiration from her own life experiences and the people she encountered along the way. She has spoken about the importance of drawing from one's own emotions and experiences in order to create authentic and compelling performances. Despite the early exposure to the craft and the influence of her family and mentors, the actress's path to becoming a successful actress was not without its challenges. She faced rejection and setbacks, but remained determined to pursue her passion for acting. Through hard work, dedication, and a deep understanding of her craft, the actress has become a respected and accomplished actress in her own right. The actress Patricia Arquette made a significant impact on the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career in the late 1980s, appearing in films such as A Nightmare on Elm Street, Three Dream Warriors, and True Romance. Arquette's breakout role came in 1995 with the film Flirting with Disaster, where she showcased her comedic talents. This performance solidified her status as a versatile actress capable of excelling in a variety of genres. 
In 2014, Arquette delivered a powerful performance in the film Boyhood, which was filmed over the course of 12 years. Her portrayal of a single mother struggling to provide for her children resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Beyond her work in film, Arquette has also made significant contributions to the television industry. She starred in the critically acclaimed series Medium, which aired from 25 to 2011, earning her multiple Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. Arquette's influence on the film industry extends beyond her own performances. She has been a vocal advocate for gender equality and pay equity in Hollywood, using her platform to speak out about the need for change in the industry. In addition to her advocacy work, Arquette has also produced and directed films, further showcasing her talents and contributions to the industry. Her work has left an indelible mark on Hollywood, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Ever since she was a young girl, the actress was drawn to the world of make-believe. She would often put on shows for her family, using props and costumes she made herself. Her parents, both actors and artists, encouraged her creativity and nurtured her passion for the arts. One pivotal moment in the actress's journey came when she was just nine years old. She saw a production of The Wizard of Oz at a local theater and was completely captivated. She remembers thinking, that's what I want to do. I want to be on that stage and make people feel the way I'm feeling right now. From that moment on, the actress dedicated herself to honing her craft. She took acting classes, attended workshops, and auditioned for any role she could find. She faced rejection and disappointment, but she never gave up on her dream. One of her earliest breaks came when she was cast in a small role in the film Pretty Woman. Although her part was small, she made the most of it and left a lasting impression on the film's director, Gary Marshall. He was so impressed with her talent and dedication that he promised to keep her in mind for future projects. Over the years, the actress has built an impressive career with numerous film and television roles to her name. She has earned critical acclaim for her work, including an Academy Award for her role in the film Boyhood. Despite her success, the actress remains humble and grounded. She continues to push herself as an artist, always seeking out new challenges and opportunities to grow. And she never forgets the passion and determination that fueled her journey to stardom. When the actress first met Nicolas Cage, she was taken aback by his assertive approach and tried to discourage him. She presented him with a demanding list of accomplishments that he would have to achieve before she would agree to go out with him. To her surprise, over the next couple of months, Cage had been steadily working his way through the list. The actress comes from a family of performers, including her father Louis Arquette, mother Brenda Dinant, and siblings Richmond Arquette, Alexis Arquette, David Arquette, and Rosanna Arquette. She is also the granddaughter of Cliff Arquette, known for his TV character Charlie Weaver and Julie Harrison. As an aunt, she has four nieces and nephews, including Zoe Blue Siddle, Coco Arquette, Charlie West, and Augustus Alexis Arquette. In August 2002, the actress became engaged to actor Thomas Jane. The actress, Patricia Arquette, faced numerous challenges on her path to success. Early on, she struggled financially, sometimes finding it difficult to make ends meet. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to pursue her passion for acting. To save money, she would often hitchhike to auditions, displaying a resilience that would become a hallmark of her career. In the entertainment industry, the actress also encountered skepticism. She was told that she was too young, too inexperienced, or simply not the right fit for certain roles. However, she refused to let these setbacks discourage her. Instead, she used them as motivation to hone her craft and prove her doubters wrong. One of the creative solutions she found to overcome these obstacles was to take on roles in independent films and television shows. These projects often provided her with the opportunity to explore complex characters and showcase her versatility as an actress. By taking on these challenging roles, she was able to build her reputation and gain the respect of her peers and audiences alike. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the actress remained committed to her passion for acting. Through her resilience and creative problem solving, she was able to build a successful career and establish herself as a respected and accomplished actress in the industry. In the film Nightwatch, the actress portrayed Catherine starring alongside other talented actors, including Josh Brolin, who was born just months apart from the actress. 
The film also featured Brad Dowriff, Nick Nolte, and John C. Riley, all of whom have been nominated for an Oscar. Later, in Bringing Out the Dead, the actress worked with Nicolas Cage, who won an Oscar, as well as Martin Scorsese, who directed the film, and is also an Oscar winner. The cast also included Queen Lanifa, who received an Oscar nomination. The actress's ability to shine alongside such esteemed company is a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Her work in these films, along with her other roles, has left a lasting impact on the film industry and on audiences alike. After minor roles in the late 80s, uh, the actress's breakthrough moment came with her leading performance in the 1993 film True Romance. Her portrayal of Alabama Whitman was praised by critics and peers alike, establishing her as a formidable talent. In 2005, she took on the role of Alison Dubois in the television series Medium, which earned her an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe. The show, which ran for seven seasons, allowed her to showcase her range as an actress, playing a psychic who helps law enforcement solve crimes. However, it was her role in the 2014 film Boyhood that truly solidified her status as a powerhouse in the industry. Filmed over 12 years, the movie allowed the actress to portray a character's evolution in a unique and powerful way. Her performance was met with widespread critical acclaim, earning her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Director Richard Linklater, who worked with the actress on Boyhood, spoke highly of her talent and dedication. He stated, She's an artist who's willing to take risks and dig deep emotionally. Her work in Boyhood is a testament to her commitment to the craft of acting. Critic A.O. Scott of the New York Times also lauded the actress's performance in Boyhood, writing, Patricia Arquette gives a heartbreaking and unforgettable performance as a mother trying to hold her family together in the face of adversity. The actress's career has been marked by groundbreaking projects and critical acclaim, cementing her place as a respected and admired figure in the world of film and television. In the film True Romance, the motel room fight scene between Alabama and Virgil took five days to shoot. The intense and physical scene showcased Patricia Arquette's dedication and commitment to her role as Alabama. In A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, Arquette played the character of Kristen Parker. Co-star Robert Englund, who played Freddy Krueger, recognized her talent and predicted her future success. He even received requests for advice from other cast members on how to approach asking Arquette out on a date. Interestingly, Arquette's co-star in Ed Wood, Johnny Depp, also had his start in the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Depp made his film debut in the original A Nightmare on Elm Street, while Arquette appeared in A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Depp also had a cameo in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. This shared history between Arquette and Depp further highlights their respective talents and contributions to the film industry. The actress Patricia Arquette is known for her deep immersion into her roles, a process that begins long before she sets foot on a film set. She draws upon her personal experiences and worldview to create nuanced and compelling characters. Arquette's ability to convey complex emotions and motivations has made her a standout in a variety of film and television productions. In preparing for a role, Arquette conducts extensive research and works closely with directors and writers to develop a well-rounded understanding of her character's background, psychology, and motivations. She has been known to create detailed backstories for her characters, even when those details do not make it into the final script. This level of preparation allows her to fully embody her characters and bring them to life on screen. Arquette's unique approach to acting is also evident in her physicality. She has a talent for transforming her appearance and movement to suit each role, often working with movement coaches and dialect experts to perfect her character's mannerisms and speech patterns. This commitment to authenticity has earned her critical acclaim and the respect of her peers. The actress's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her work. She has been open about her own struggles with mental health and addiction and has used her platform to advocate for mental health awareness and reform. Arquette has also been a vocal supporter of women's rights and gender equality and has used her roles to explore issues of gender and power. One of Arquette's most notable performances came in the film Boyhood, which was filmed over the course of 12 years. In the film, Arquette plays a single mother struggling to provide for her children while also navigating her own personal and professional challenges. 
Her performance is a powerful exploration of the complexities of motherhood, and it earned her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Arquette's commitment to her craft and her willingness to take on challenging roles have made her a respected and beloved figure in the film and television industry. Her ability to bring nuance and depth to her characters has left a lasting impact on audiences and has solidified her place as a true artist in the world of acting. The actress who played Kristen Parker in A Nightmare on Elm Street Three Dream Warriors is the only one from the franchise to win an Academy Award. Interestingly, she and Heather Langenkamp, who portrayed Nancy Thompson in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, both appeared in The Outsiders, although in different versions Langenkamp in the 1983 film, and the actress in the 1990 TV series. In her personal life, the actress is connected to two high-profile Hollywood families. She is the sister-in-law of Todd Morgan, Rosanna Arquette's fourth husband, and Christina McClarty Arquette, David Arquette's second wife. These connections, along with her successful film and television career, make the actress a notable figure in the entertainment industry. The actress Patricia Arquette has made significant contributions to the film and television industry, leaving a lasting impact on storytelling and technique. With a career spanning over three decades, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. In the critically acclaimed film Boyhood, Arquette's portrayal of a struggling single mother resonated with audiences and critics alike. Her nuance and heartfelt performance earned her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. The film's director, Richard Linklater, praised Arquette's dedication to the role, stating, she brought so much depth and humanity to the character and her commitment to the project over 12 years was truly remarkable. Arquette has also been a trailblazer for women in the industry, using her platform to advocate for gender equality and representation. In her acceptance speech at the 2015 Academy Awards, she passionately spoke about the need for equal pay for women, stating, it's our time to have wage equality once and for all, and equal rights for women in the United States of America. In addition to her film work, Arquette has also made a significant impact on television. Her role as Alison Dubois in the drama series Medium showcased her versatility as an actress and helped to challenge gender stereotypes. The show's creator, Glenn Gordon Karen, praised Arquette's ability to bring depth and complexity to the character, stating, Patricia's portrayal of Alison was groundbreaking. She brought a level of intelligence and emotional depth to the role that was both captivating and inspiring. Arquette's influence on the industry is also evident in the work of those she has inspired. Actress and activist Emma Watson has cited Arquette as a role model, praising her advocacy for gender equality. Watson stated, Patricia's courage and passion for advocating for women's rights is truly inspiring. She is a trailblazer and a role model for all of us. In conclusion, Patricia Arquette's contributions to the film and television industry are both significant and enduring. Her powerful performances and advocacy for gender equality have left a lasting impact on storytelling and technique, inspiring a new generation of actors and activists. In 1987, the acting career of Patricia Arquette took off with her debut film, A Nightmare on Elm Street Three Dream Warriors. Sharing the spotlight with Jennifer Rubin, they brought to life the characters Kristen Parker and Tyron White, respectively. This film marked a significant beginning for both actresses. As the years passed, Arquette's career continued to flourish. In 2002, she was invited to be a member of the dramatic jury at the Sundance Film Festival, an esteemed event in the independent film industry. This opportunity showcased her growing influence and recognition within the film industry. One of Arquette's notable roles was as Alabama Whitman in the 1993 film True Romance, directed by Tony Scott. Upon the completion of filming, Scott gifted her a purple Cadillac replacing the Ford Future she had been driving, which frequently broke down. This act of generosity highlighted the strong bond formed between the actress and director during the production of the film. Arquette can be heard recounting this story in the 22 DVD commentary, adding a personal touch to the film's legacy. The actress, Patricia Arquette, leads a life that is deeply intertwined with her values and interests outside of her professional sphere. She is known for her advocacy work particularly in areas of gender and racial equality. Arquette has been open about her passion for these issues, using her platform to raise awareness and promote change. 
In her personal life, Arquette is a single mother of two, which has influenced her work in the film Boyhood. The film, which was shot over the course of 12 years, explores the life of a young boy and his family, including his single mother. Arquette's own experiences as a single mother allowed her to bring a level of authenticity to her role. Arquette is also a dedicated philanthropist, using her resources and influence to support various causes. She has been involved with the Save the Children organization for many years, working to improve the lives of children around the world. Arquette has also been a vocal supporter of LGBTQ rights and has used her platform to speak out against discrimination and promote equality. In addition to her advocacy work, Arquette is also passionate about the arts. She has served on the board of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and has been involved in various artistic projects outside of her acting career. Overall, Patricia Arquette's personal values and interests inform every aspect of her life, both professionally and personally. Her dedication to advocacy, philanthropy, and the arts is a testament to her commitment to making a positive impact in the world. The Arquette family can boast of having a talented actress among them, as the actress was the first to receive an Oscar nomination and the first to win the prestigious award. She was born at 1.55 a.m., and her career includes playing sexually confident characters, even though she describes herself as modest. During a 2019 episode of Actors on Actors, the actress discussed her role in Lost Highway, recalling a nude scene she did for the film. She admitted that she often chooses to play characters who are more sexually confident than she is, and this includes performing nude in sex scenes. However, she made it clear that she is not comfortable with nudity in her personal life. To ensure that only necessary crew members were present during the filming of the scene, the actress warned everyone that she would remove her robe, and anyone who didn't need to be there would be punched in the face. This led to about 40 people scattering into the desert, leaving only those who were required to be on set. Overall, the actress is known for her commitment to her craft and her ability to take on a wide range of roles, even if they require her to push beyond her comfort zone. The actress Patricia Arquette has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With her powerful performances, she has broken barriers and challenged societal norms. She won an Academy Award for her role in Boyhood, a groundbreaking film that showcased the complexities of growing up. Arquette has used her platform to advocate for gender equality and women's rights. In her Oscar acceptance speech, she called for wage equality for women, stating, it's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. As for her future contributions, Arquette shows no signs of slowing down. She continues to take on challenging roles and use her voice to advocate for important social issues. In a recent interview, she expressed her desire to continue pushing boundaries and breaking stereotypes in the industry. For aspiring professionals in the field, Arquette offers the following advice never give up on your dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. Surround yourself with people who support and believe in you. And most importantly, use your platform to make a difference in the world. Arquette's legacy is one of strength perseverance, and advocacy. She has paved the way for future generations of actors and actresses to use their voices and talents to create change. Her future contributions will undoubtedly continue to inspire and empower those in the industry and beyond. In an interview with Magnet, Tom Waits revealed that a line in Black Market Baby was inspired by the actress. Waits' wife described her as a bonsai Aphrodite, a fitting tribute to her captivating presence. The actress was originally cast in the Jennifer Jason Lee role in Last Exit to Brooklyn, but had to drop out due to pregnancy. This change in casting led to a different outcome for the film, but the actress' talent was still able to shine through in other projects. Her family surname, Arquette, was spelled Arkawit many generations back. The actress' father had a diverse ancestry, including French-Canadian, English, Swiss-German, German, Scottish, Irish, and Welsh roots. On her mother's side, her grandfather, Yusuf Joseph Nowak, was a Jewish immigrant from Bielozerkwa, Kiev, then in the Russian Empire. The actress' maternal grandmother, Claire Hibble, was born in New York to Russian Jewish parents. This diverse heritage contributed to the actress' unique perspective and talent. In conclusion, the actress' impact on the film industry is undeniable, and her talent has been recognized and celebrated by her peers. From her notable roles to her family heritage, 
The actress story is one of determination and success. After being born in 1968, the actress faced early challenges, including her parents' divorce and her mother's health issues. However, she persevered and began her acting career in the late 80s. She gained recognition for her role in True Romance and cemented her place in the industry with Medium, a show that showcased her range and talent. Throughout her career, the actress has chosen roles that challenge her and engage audiences. She's tackled complex characters in films like Boyhood and the act demonstrating her passion for storytelling and her commitment to her craft. The actress's work has not only entertained, but also sparked important conversations about social issues. Her Emmy acceptance speech for Medium highlighted the need for equal pay for women and her role in Transparent shed light on the experiences of the transgender community. In the end, the actress's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her innovative approach to acting and her willingness to take on challenging roles have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her work serves as a reminder that with passion and determination, anyone can make a lasting impact. After an impressive career spanning over three decades, the actress has made her mark in both film and television. She's known for her powerful performances that leave a lasting impression. Her work in Boyhood earned her critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She's also made a name for herself in television with notable roles in Medium and Escape at Danamora, for which she won an Emmy. The actress's legacy extends beyond her work, as she's also known for her activism and advocacy for women's rights and equality. Her work continues to inspire and resonate with audiences, making her a true creative spirit in entertainment. What are your thoughts on the actress's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.